you're very welcome, Tom, here indeed to the centenary celebrations. Indeed, Tom, you're a past pupil of the school, no doubt about it, the Handys. Tom, that's, that's right, yeah. Uh, uh, you've seen uh, some great uh, changes and times in this school. I did. I, I, I noticed uh, a lot of changes compared to the time I was in it. But all for the better, of course. Yes. And uh, although it looks, the outside belies it. It's, it's a modern school inside. Yes. No, and to a certain extent outside as well. Yes. <laughs> but uh, the wall is gone, it's all one big playground. They used to separate the boys from the girls there with a, a wall down that, the that way. The left, is that right? Uh, and the minute we were let out then we cut it down from that corner and out into Egan's Wood to play football. Of course it was all football that time, Tom, here, wasn't it? All. Yeah. All. And by you, that's why Tom had such a great team. Oh, they had a great and team. the county, uh, actually. Uh, yes, I always say that, really, I always thought that there had to be a good team in town and in Cashley area to have a good Roscommon team. It's quite true, Tom. And I think that will make Roscommon if, if, if Castlery can, can rise up. The okay. Castle of the par Parish Kilkeven of, uh, uh, can rise up to the occasion again and, and turn out footballers like they used to have. Yes. And I hope they will do that. And I, I, it's up to you, Danny, and the like. Yeah. Okay, Tom. Thanks very much indeed. God bless you. Thanks. Next, you think you're at Fairy House Races here with the hats, the frocks, and the mini skirts, but nevertheless, Michael Kelly the and the racing. The race cards are here. Michael, you're very welcome, Michael Kelly. Michael, you're very welcome to the Centenary Celebrations. Thank you very much, Danny. I'm getting married in seven weeks' time, Danny, so just in case, like, you're. You'll be there, I hope, like, you know. Yeah. Well, apart from the wedding... Uh, no, 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 that's the, the most important thing in my life now, Danny, at this moment. The most important thing. But you enjoyed your tea? Oh, brilliant. Absolutely. We fantastic. We came over from England, Michael. Yes, yes. We came from uh, Luton yesterday, myself and the two canes okay. and all the flatteries. The two canes? Two canes, yes. Eddie and, Eddie and Merton, Merton. Which, which were in my class. Which are the flatteries? Seamus and Eugene. Yes. They go back a long time. Well, I'm uh, kind of recent... younger than them. I'm a recent uh, pupil of the school. But uh, art is brilliant. Like, it's... I was. I came up here this morning at eight o'clock to look at it, and uh, I did, yeah, I did, yeah. No, 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 no. And uh, it was incredible, incredible to see the uh, people have done an awful lot for it. You know, it's it's great to see it. It's great to see. It. Well, I know I was a bit late for the mass because I saw them coming in myself. They're on video actually. Well, Paul Tully, Paul Tully had us like, and he was kind to keep us, so we had to go there. This has been here. A lovely day, She's Danny. A granny, six weeks ago. A granny. Congratulations, Granny. Thanks, Danny, very much. That's right. 12th of July is a better day. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Are you enjoying yourself today? I'm having a lovely time, Danny. Thank you very much. And are you enjoying I'm having a ball. A ball. A ball. <laughs> We're short of now with a ball of malt. <laughs> well, Mrs. Keegan, Breach, how are you? Great. No game of cares today. You enjoyed today, oh, did you? Oh, powerful now. Yes, lovely day. Great day. Great day now. House, full house above. Do you have a full house? Yes. Well, sure, you'll be a great... Cabbage you'll be and bacon. Cabbage and bacon and, and everything. Now, Myra Handy. Myra, you're a member of the committee, Myra. Yes, I yes am. indeed, and you. I must compliment you. You worked very hard actually for this. We're very pleased with how it turned out. It was very successful. Yes. Very pleased. Yes. Which is a great great marvelous achievement. And I must say the art looked beautiful. Very, yeah, we're very pleased with the, how it all turned out now. Everybody worked hard and everybody cooperated. Yes. Okay, thanks very much, Myra, indeed. But don't forget to tell Ian about the match on Sunday. No, I, I won't. I won't thank forget it. Thank you very much. Bolands, who we were interviewed earlier on. And Michael has travelled all the way from Ashburn in County Mead to be here with us today. And indeed, he presented there at the, the to the to the um, Tarman School uh, a little symbol of uh, the horseshoe. Your trade, you're a blacksmith up in Ashburn. Uh, blacksmith trade, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a security guard also. You're also a security guard, that's right. Oh, I'm a security guard. You have the two jobs as a professor. Two jobs. Yeah. <laughs> well, well uh, I, I, I'm just part time with that. Can you describe this, um, yeah. what you've presented to them? Well, and when I come. I was I was invited. No, I had a letter from them at Christmas yes. and a Christmas card. So uh, I do not think I got my pen and I sat. I, I wrote to them and uh, I sent them a check you know, for twenty pound. So I was up and down ever since. Like you know, I, I was up and down ever since. You see, and uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know what to do about what, what, what to do for give them something like, and so I intended to give them something like, you know. So I didn't know what, what like, you know, what I could present them with. So I just myself, my wife, we just thought for this, like, you know. So I said, if we got a plaque, and uh, I make a set of shoes, and I said I get the ball and crest and put it in the centre. I said, I wonder how would that look? Or my wife said, a bit beautiful. So I said. Um, I said, I, I go to the forge, I have a little forge at the back of the house. I said, I go to make a set of shoes. 
So I go to the Mad City shoes. Now I had no plaque at this time. And the crest was a thing I didn't know how to get it. So I asked this man, a carpenter, about a crest. And he said there was, uh, there was a place in Fleet Street in Dublin. And they do them. So I walked the feet off myself and I found it. And, and, I, and I got the, uh, the, the crest. And I must say, Michael, that it's a very, very nice thing. We'll get just a picture of it there on the video, the crest. It's a very nice thing indeed. And I must say, thanks very much, Michael. And I'm sure the Tarman School will be very proud of it and the pupils in the years to come. And it lasts years and years. And indeed. And the natural shoes, you know, they're, um, yes. they're, 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 they're the natural. They're hunting shoes. Hunting shoe. They're a hunting shoe. Yeah. Man. And Michael, uh, you served your time as a blacksmith I down the road with John Egan. When I was 12 years of age and I gone home here from school in the evening time, I used to go in every evening blowing the bellows for John and I used to give me tea in, 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 the, in the Mrs. Egan. Yes. And from that on, I kept at it and kept at it. And then he asked my father, could he, could he learn me the trade? So he said he did. And you never, you have no regrets? I have no regrets whatsoever. Okay. I'm delighted. And you're delighted to be here today, Michael? I'm, I'm overcharmed. And your wife is here as well? And my wife is here, she's okay. charmed. Thanks very much, Michael, indeed. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you. Well, we're now here in the Terman School, indeed, who produced so many, many pupils that we are celebrating the centenary here today. Uh, the, as we say, the 100 years of cent celebrations of the centenary of Terman School. And indeed, we have heard that it was a little longer. But uh, we are now in the principal room here, where Mr. Jimmy Fahey, who is the principal of the school, and it's his room, classroom we're in at the moment. And Jimmy, we're looking at a lot of photographs, and we we going round on school photographs and projects, etc. But this is uh, one of the famous pupils, Jimmy, that um, uh, attended your school. It's on Tom Heenan, up here on the right. That's right. That's Tom, one of the greatest footballers we ever had from Terman School. Um, uh, that's a project now done by, <coughs> done by the Hina and children. Their uh, yeah. uh, nieces and nephews are Tom's. Yes. Uh, Tom, of course, is now working for Board Falja in uh, Los Angeles. And, and we're sorry he won't be with us that day. But indeed, also, Jimmy, in those photographs, we can see as we go along the Roscommon teams there as well. And Harry Keegan, another past pupil, is there as well in the... Well, uh, those photographs should be very familiar to you, Danny, yes. uh, since you are involved in football all down through the years. And I think I can say that we wouldn't have such great footballers uh, in term only for you. Well, thanks very much, Jimmy, but I must say that there's a lot of uh, photographs. I'm just looking at that one there, Jimmy, now in particular, the 63 County Minor Championship winning team. I just happened to see if I have the name of John Flaherty there from Terman and... Yeah, they all went to school here. Oh yes, that's John Flaherty John came Flaherty here. There, that's right. Corner. And yeah. um, he was in the 1960 juvenile team also. Yeah. And then of course you have Tom Heenan, he was there. Tom is in the, that's the project is about. And um, there's also somebody else in that photograph now from term, Sean Finan, the man himself, Sean. That's right. Well, my sight isn't so good now. Even, even with the glasses, I can't see them so good. But there would be a few from term and there, as there's well as Tom. Yeah. I certainly must say it's a very, very well done, as we can say, by the, the Heenan family. They're only youngsters indeed, and they've done a very good project there on football, on Tom Heenan, their uncle. Oh, they're very neat workers. Uh, Anne in particular now, she's a senior student and she has beautiful work done there. Uh, this project on the other side is about um, Kathleen Heenan. Kathleen well, is a past pupil of the school too. Yes. Uh, she's Mrs. Cleary now, and uh, she's teaching up in Curra Boy School, I think, in South Roscommon. Yes. And by the way, this uh, photograph there of uh, Cleary, uh, her husband, um, his father was a manager here in this school in the days gone by. Uh, Gerald Cleary. Gerald Cleary, Cleary, that's right. Uh, brother of Jim Cleary's in Castle uh, The very man, yeah. the happy man. Happy man. Yeah. Yes. And he, he taught in Ballygare for years afterwards. He, be he, was, uh, he became a trained teacher and taught in Ballygare for years and years. Did his son Sean was on the Galway three in a row team? Uh, that's true. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jim. Since here, indeed, and the many teachers has uh, uh, stayed in this residence. Indeed, it, it must. It looks a lot better now, I'm sure, than it did in some of the years gone by. And Jimmy, take us up there, Jimmy Fahey. You, you are now the principal of the school and resident here at the moment. Well, we had it reconstructed a few years ago, but um, 
the outline of it is the same, really. Yes. And um, Dan O'Rourke and his family lived for many years here. In fact, um, when the Black and Tans came to Thames, they tried to burn it down. And there are patches on the top of the stairs yet where you can see the burn marks.